peace, bro. How you doing? Peace, beloved. I got, I, I, got, I got one question for you, brother. Yes, sir. As you can see, the neighborhood is changing. Um, we here in Bed Stuy slash Brooklyn. Crown, Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York. Yes. And um, there's a lot of changes going on. Some good, some bad. Yes, sir. Um, we just want to get your idea on how you feel about gentrification and how the neighborhood is changing. Do you think it's a good thing or it's a bad thing? Well, the word gentrification, mm -hmm. it's a word that really, it's, uh, it, it has, the meaning of gentrification is that it's something that's unlawful. Okay. So we just use the word so interchangeably mm -hmm. with other words thinking that, oh, it's natural. No, gentrification means systematically pushing one group of people out mm -hmm. and bringing in another. Right. That's what gentrification means. Gentrification as a system is a problem. Okay. Anybody should be entitled to live wherever they can afford to live and where they want to live. But unfortunately, in this in this world we live in, that that's a, that's a systematic problem in that it just changes everything to the point where you can't, you know, if if you don't own where you're at, then something like that can happen. What about the effect of what gentrification is doing? The actual effect of it, the actual effect of um, white people moving in the neighborhood and black and blacks moving out. But right now it's kind of like uh, integration thing because you got you got a lot of black people still here and you got a lot of white people is moving in. What about the effects of it? Um, the, the the fixing up of the roads, the new shops that are opening up. You know they kind of like yeah. I mean you know, it's, it, it, it appears to be beneficial to everyone. Okay. But if you can't rent one of those storefronts mm -hmm. to do your business, right. how is it beneficial to you? We've been walking these streets for so many years, and unless they got a call, they didn't bother us. Mm -hmm. Now, since they moved in, and they see us walking the street, they're stopping us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. So, it's more as they're protecting them and their investments here, and what was ours in the beginning, they looking at us like, go somewhere. Where are we supposed to go? Shelters? Where are we supposed to go? Streets? Right. That is not good. And and what was affordable that the city was supposed to provide for us never happened. We have a few, but then all the projects are hold on them. And all the money allotted is still there. And if you choose to give it up, then something like that can happen. So you can't blame someone for moving in, um, but what's attached to it, and unfortunately in this world, is this idea that somebody is worth more than somebody else. Right. So whereas you could be sitting in this neighborhood for a very long time and it'd be stable um, and have a particular demographic, because of this idea that somebody's worth more than somebody else, when the demographic starts to change, now your values start to go up. And then when your values go up, now those who are stable and maybe are now on a fixed income over you know, three or four decades and you're retired, now you're, everything's going up, and now those who've been here for a while can't even afford to stay. To try to rehabilitate some of these for us, hmm. instead of co-oping these things, and nobody can not get in unless it's a lottery. And look here, what, what is this? Build some more stuff that we can get into because it's coming to the point that a lot of the younger people ain't got nowhere to live. Mm. Okay. Nowhere. That sounds like a negative thing. That's negative on that okay. part. That's very negative. Okay. You know, they get grown, you know how it is. They get grown they're in your house. They got to right, go. Right, right, gotta go. But if they don't have a lot of them don't even have the knowledge that we have and the knowledge we give them they don't listen to. But if they build and where they trying to push us out, we got somewhere else to go. Gotcha. That's the baddest thing about them moving in here in, in this neighborhood. Okay, now, so, so overall, so overall, what do you think, would you like to live in an all black neighborhood? Or would you rather it multicultural or the way that it is right now? Hmm. I think a mixture is a good thing. Think a mixture is a good I thing. I think a mixture is a good thing for this reason. Um, I think a mixture is a good thing because people, you know, everybody brings something different to the equation. Okay. And everybody's got something to share and and something to 
to present. Okay. And as long as there's there's uh, respect on either side of the coin, then you know you can take you can share what you need to share and leave behind what you need to leave behind. Okay. You know. Sir. All right. Thank you, All brother. Right, brother. Thank I you. appreciate your right, your care. answer. All right. All right. Peace and love. Peace. All right, peace, brother. Be good. Okay. So overall. If you had to, in the in the large scheme of things, if you had to change it or leave it the way it was, would you like to live in an all-black neighborhood or would you keep it the way it is right now? Well, I feel safer in an all-black neighborhood. You know, if you okay. leave it all black, mm -hmm. these are my people. You know, and if you let us police our ourselves, right. you know, we can do just fine. I mean, throughout history, if you look back. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we were owning land and property and we were founding cities and so forth, mm -hmm. um, we did just fine. But it's when they saw us doing so fine that they had to interfere and stop that. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, integration is, uh, it's really about, well, if you can't beat them, you might as well get something out of it. Right. That's all it is, really. Okay. But if people had, if they knew they could live among themselves with their group, and not have any interference and prosper, they would like doing that. I mean, at the end of the day, we're the same, but no, we're not the same, like Public Enemy says. Right. We all need to live together because in the eyes of God, mm -hmm. we all get the same judgment. Okay. We all bleed the same blood. Mm -hmm. You all know what I'm saying? So, if you can have this, why can't black man? Mm -hmm. It's, it's no way that they and we can. So you say it's beneficial for us that well, they moved in the neighborhood? Well, it's beneficial for us as far as economically. For economically. Because now they're what was rammed down shacks mm -hmm. and abandoned buildings, they're now fixing them up. Okay. Thank you. I want to thank you for your answer. Okay, my brother. All right, brother. Have a blessed day. All right, we will. Too, but God brother. is always in control. Always. Yes, sir. All, All right. right, brother. You're good. All right, you too, man.